Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. In this QuickBooks tutorial, we will be covering class tracking. Uh, why do class tracking? Uh, this is for anyone who wants to separate two entities, locations, divisions, or anything similar to basically compare profit and loss between one and the other. So if you have a West Coast or an East Coast, you want to see which one is bringing in more income and which one is spending more money in expenses, uh, you could do this by class tracking. However, you cannot commingle corporation with personal. So if you have a corporate, you need to submit balance sheet. You cannot do class tracking. This can only be done if you have an LLC, sole proprietor, and so on. But if you have a corporation, you cannot commingle it with your personal stuff. So let's go over to QuickBooks and set up a class tracking. All right, so we are in QuickBooks. First thing I have to do is make sure the settings are turned on. So I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, Accounting, Company Preferences. And over here, it says Use Class Tracking. You want to make sure that this is checked on. You also want to go ahead and check on Prompt to Assign Classes. What this is going to do is, it's going to give you a little pop-up reminder every time you either do an invoice or a bill. And if you forget to put a class to it, it's going to ask you whether you want a class tracking or not. Now you could do it where you do class tracking for a West Coast and East Coast. So that's two class trackings. If you have personal stuff in there, then you could leave your personal stuff without a class and that way you know that anything that does not pop up with the class is personal stuff. Moving on forward, I'm going to hit OK. Next, I will go to list. I will go to class list. I will add, add new. I'll write West Coast. I'll add a new one. I'm going to call it East Coast. Of course, under here, I could have East Coast 1, East Coast 2, and make it under the sub of subclass of East Coast, West Coast, same thing. So you can use subclasses as well. We're not going to do that in this case. So there you go, I have two classes. And the idea is that I'm going to go to enter sales receipt. And when I come here, you will see that it has a class over here. So when I account for a sale, I'm going to choose this class right here. So this sale was in the East Coast. East Coast brought in a hundred bucks. Let's say this one was from the West Coast. And this person brought in 200 bucks in sales. Okay. So now what we just did is recorded two transactions, one going to each different class. Now that I've done that, I will go and write a quick expense. That way we have income and expense to compare it. So I will go to banking write checks. I'm going to make a pretend check over here for 50 bucks. And the idea is that on the right hand side over here where it says class, that's right, this bill was on behalf of the East Coast. And over here. I will go to vendor three again. This one will make it 28 bucks. But this one was for the West Coast. West Side. So there you have it, folks. We did an income for both classes. We did an expense for both classes. Next thing to do is just to take a look at a report. Of course, this is one quick example, one quick transaction. But the idea, when we go to profit and loss standard, we can go over here with under columns and change that to class. And it's going to tell you, I'm going to modify this and actually make this a cash transaction. 
there you go so I recorded everything that was cash that was under those two and as you could see East Coast brought in a hundred dollars of income they spent 50 bucks their net income was 50 bucks West Coast brought in 200 bucks had less expenses their net income was greater so you know that your West Side office is the one that's right I love my ease baby but we dropping it on the West that's right West on this one one but of course you have your total over here um, and basically that's the idea of why you'd want to use class tracking it's an easy way to see you know compare Apple with an Apple and that concludes today's QuickBooks tutorial on class tracking hope you've enjoyed it hope you learned a little thing or two if you have a question visit the forum ask away and shall receive all right you guys adios and that concludes this lesson uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos